guys, <laughs> welcome back. Jim back with Beer to You. Today we're gonna finish up the uh, Bear Republic Racer series. So with the, uh, the Racer 5 India Pale Ale. Cool, so you heard the whole story in previous videos. We'll link up uh, upstairs to all of those previous videos about some of the other Bear Republic beers, but this one is their uh, IPA. So what does it say on the bottle? It's an aggressively styled India Pale Ale handmade from a brewery whose motto is bigger is better. Here's the important part. It's a golden well-hopped bottle conditioned ale. Aha, a term. We'll talk about that in a second. What is a bottle conditioned ale, you ask? Well, very well. So it goes on to say uh, some other brewmaster notes. Keep cold, respect life, don't drink and drive. Real ale is alive. All valid things that I support. So it is bottle conditioned. What does that mean? Well, you'll see when we open it. Bottle conditioned means that it is bottled with a little bit of live yeast in the bottle, sealed into the bottle with it. And that gives it the ability to continue fermenting in the bottle. So fermentation puts off CO2, bottle sealed. So that means that potentially some or all of the carbonation that's in this beer came from being in the bottle. So kind of neat. So for your factoids, 7.5% ABV and 75 IBUs. So let's open her up and see what we got going on here. According to the website, so it's got a whole bunch of different interesting malts to include some wheat. So that's always good. And that'll change the body and the mouthfeel just a little bit. And then some Pacific Northwest Cascade hops, I believe. So let's get that guy in there. So definitely some haze in the glass. So that's a good sign. Um, I don't, can't tell. Yeah, I think there is a little bit of yeast, uh, a little bit of yeast at the bottom of the bottle there. So that's a sign of barrel condi or bottle conditioned ales is a little bit of yeast slurry in the bottom there. It's okay, it won't hurt you. Some people even say it's good for you, I don't know. But here, yeah, a hazy golden color, about one finger of a pretty tight white head on it. And uh, yeah. Yeah, so one of the things I've noticed with the Bear Republic beers is their malt definitely has a stronger, more assertive presence. Kind of, in a lot of IPAs, it seems like the malt, which is sort of the backbone of the beer, is just sort of an afterthought. Like, it is just some a, a vehicle by which we're gonna deliver hops to your face. This one is very much present. You get that very, almost before you get the hop aroma, you get a very sweet, that's kind of malty, bready kind of background. And then you get the, uh, Then you get the hop aromas there, right, kind of right there with that cascade, a little bit of the pininess, a little bit of uh, kind of citrusy, think more grapefruit juicy kind of kind of vibes there. But uh, good on the nose, nice color. Uh, cheers. That's a very well-balanced beer. So what do you get out of that? Um, I get, a nice punch of hop, but a really balanced sweetness from the malt. The uh, wheat is definitely there. It gives you a nice mouthfeel to it. It kind of lingers on the palate a little bit. It's not a very thin beer. It's got some, got some heft to it. That might be another source of the cloudiness in the beer, but it has a sweeter finish. There's bitterness. It's sort of interplaying bitter with sweet malty flavors. And honestly, in my taste, Kind of sip to sip it varies, but the malt actually might be winning a little bit. That's really nice. So we talked, remember bottle condition, um, they said ales are alive. That's true, there's a whole movement in England and I encourage you to read up about it, about real ales. And if you ever had a chance, if you ever go to a bar that does cask conditioned or real ales, I highly recommend it. Where really back in the day, ale wasn't finished until you until it was put in the glass. So the brewer was basically selling pubs and bars and everything else, three quarters finished beer, and it was alive. And one of the uh, publican, the guy running the pub, one of the big jobs he had to do was figure out when the beer was ready to pour. And then once they tapped that, tapped the uh, cask of ale, then kind of the clock was running. So just like a cheese or another natural product that has 
yeast or other biological organisms in it, it's alive. So that's kind of cool about bottle conditioned beers. You know, you see them, try them out. Most home brewers know exactly what that is because probably your first beers were bottle conditioned because you didn't have the machinery to carbonate them and you put a little bit of extra sugar in there, probably some priming sugar, and hoped that the residual yeast left over in the uh, beer did the work and either didn't explode, but uh, gave you some good, uh, some good beer. So there's your, your learning point for today. But to that end, this is a very well-balanced beer on untapped, 350,000 reviews, which makes sense. I think this is the flagship, if you will, for uh, Bear Republic. And uh, yeah, it's got a 3.9 out of five. So pretty good, uh, pretty good rating as far as things go for, uh, for the untapped world. Uh, for me, um, I like it. I'm gonna call this one an eight and a half out of 10. Remember, none of my ratings, they're just my opinion. Those numbers are really <laughs> not legally binding, won't hold up in a court of law or anything else. So really good, if you see it, check it out. I recommend it, it's a good beer, well-made, bottle condition, which is always a plus. Big fan of traditional brewing methods there. So, cool. Um, other than that, I think we're done. Um, if you could, uh, downstairs there, click the uh, subscribe button. If you like what we're doing, hit the bell. If you want notifications, we upload every week. So uh, good chance to know when there's a new, fresh, hot beer review on the streets. Likewise, uh, smash that like button if you enjoyed the video. Helps people find the channel, helps us know kind of what directions to go. And uh, please comment in the comment section downstairs if you uh, see anything, uh, anything you want to talk about. Please feel free. So that's uh, it, Bear Republic Racer 5 IPA. I like it. Check it out. You should try it too. Until next time, dear friends, beer nerds of the world unite, keep looking out for the good stuff. Cheers.